Hi, welcome to this mobility flow. We're gonna focus on the upper body, starting on hands and knees. With your toes curled under, sit your hips halfway back to your heels, or maybe two thirds of the way. From here, we're gonna do cat cows. These are gonna bias the thoracic spine, rounding through your upper back as you exhale. Push the floor away from you. As you inhale, flip your heart the other way and start to reach your heart forward. Now, on a scale of one to 10, I want the effort on these to be about a four. We're gonna go through this round of mobilizations a second and third time, and we're gonna take the intensity up each time. You're gonna feel that you can move with more freedom. So you'll feel that you're actually getting stronger and more flexible through each round that we do. Then come to neutral. And again, with forward in, in intensity, row your right elbow back, turn your chest open, reach down through your left hand, reach your right arm up, and then reach back to starting point two more times. Last one on this side. Down the left, as you exhale, row your elbow back and reach. Two more times. Last one. And then stand up onto your knees. Take your arms out to the side and turn your thumbs to point up. Rotate your arms so your thumbs point down and then rotate the other way so your thumbs point back. Three times. Rotate as much as you can, spinning the upper arm bone without the shoulder blades coming up or down. Now take your arms in front of you and we're gonna mobilize the shoulder blades, the scapula. Reach your shoulder blades forward and then pull your shoulder blades back three times. Then from a neutral position, draw your shoulder blades up into your ears and pull them as far down as you can, three times. Then take your hands onto your lower back. Bring your elbows forward. Pull your elbows back. Reach your hands back as far away from your buttocks as you can. Then externally rotate your upper arms. So you're turning the thumbs to point out. Lift up to shoulder height. Full external rotation, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other, the arms back in space and then bring the arms back down as you internally rotate. Keep reaching the hands away from you, hands back to your lower back, elbows forward and back. Doing that two more times. Reach back, squeeze, rotate, palms face forward, reach up to shoulder height, keeping the squeeze of the scapula. Reach back down, internally rotate as you reach back, hands to low back, elbows forward, Good, now last part. Bring your hands behind your head. Open up your chest. Bring elbows forward. Pull elbows back. Bring elbows into a goalpost position. And then reach elbows forward into a Y shape. Pull back. Now bring hands back behind your head. Elbows forward. Elbows back, 
pull into a goalpost position, reach out, pull back. Last one. Imagine you're sliding your hands against a wall behind you. Okay, then we'll come back to hands and knees. Now I'm doing this on a very cushioned mat. If you don't have a cu thick cushioned mat, I recommend putting a blanket underneath your knees, especially if you have sensitive knees. Let's go back to the cat cow for the upper back. Rounding as much as you can, pull your collarbones towards your hips. As you inhale, flip the other way. See if by lengthening and slowing down your breath, it can help you to improve and increase the range of motion. It's already starting to feel better on this second round. From neutral position, let's do the row and reach. Row your elbow back, stretch back. Three times. Change sides. Stand up tall on your knees, arms out to the side, rotate upper arm bones. Two, three, then arms in front of you, moving the scapula forward and back. In this round, I feel I have better activation of my muscles to help to move the scapula forward. It feels like they glide back. Now as you're doing this, try not to let the bottom of your rib cage move forward and back. So you're squeezing your glutes for stability. Come to neutral and bring shoulder blades up and down. And notice the feeling that they're gliding a bit easier. Things are moving better. When things move better, you have better access to strengthening your muscles, full range. Bring your hands onto the lower back. I'll show this first round from behind. And then from the front, two more. And hands behind the head. Chest open, press elbows back against the imaginary wall. Go forward. Press back, keeping ribs in, butt squeeze. Pull into cactus, keeping your butt squeeze. Slide your arms up like you're per sliding back against the wall. Pull back down. Two more. Squeeze the buttocks as you pull elbows back. Last round. Good. From hands in knee position, rounding through your spine. Pull collarbones down and then reach the other way. Oh yeah, that's why we do this.
just notice the feeling. Can you feel how much more freedom there is? You feel like you're able to move the body, the thoracic spine, the upper middle back better. And then the rowing, three rounds. Pull the elbow back and reach. And then stand up on your knees for arm rotations. You can use a little butt squeeze to help to keep your core steady. Keeping the rib cage in neutral, not letting it move forward or back. Then arms forward, moving the scapula. Oh yeah, that sticky scapula is moving even just a little bit better to this third round. That's kind of cool. Up and down. Hands on the lower back. Take the elbows back, reach the hands as far back as I can, and then rotate the arms externally so the palms face up, maintaining that, and then rotating internally as you reach back. Last one. Should feel like, if you felt like the Tin Man at the beginning, you could feel like you are getting oiled up throughout these movements. Hands come behind the head, last round. Elbows forward and back. So there's your upper body mobility. If you have time, finish with the lower body, but if not, you can do that on a separate day. I'm gonna put the link coming up next to the lower body. It's also gonna be in the first description, in the first comment, as well as in the description. Thanks so much. I hope that helped you to feel good. Hope it feels like your spine and your shoulders are all moving with a little bit more freedom.